Um, the uh, rift, shall we say, uh, within the uh, ruling APC, I'm talking here about Arab Beshola and um, you know, some of his uh, co-travelers. Uh, would you put you know, the results you know, largely uh, being a result of that lack of uh, stability? You know, there's a particular saying in our local dialect, and I'll try to as much as possible to interpret. Now, if you don't die at home, you cannot die outside. That uh, it is more, it is much easier to deal with enemy from the outside than to deal with enemy from within. Enemy within. Uh, yeah. So, to a large extent, parties usually have problem from internal their inability to manage their internal crisis, and it was there. It was evident for everybody to see. PDP lost in 2015 as a result of crisis within that party and um, which they were not able to, to resolve um, before going to, to the main election in, 20, in 2015. And in, with respect to Oshun State, uh, we saw the polarization right from 2018 with respect to who become the flag bearer. And then reluctantly, um, some of the faction that lost that went to other party, you recall, the candidate that took the sitting governor to court came back at DOT, who happens to be SSG in that government, went to another party to contest in 2018 before returning back to APC to contest the election before going to, the, you know, they approached the court until two days to the election. Mm -hmm. Even the governor was not issue. Mm -hmm. Nobody was sure who would be the candidate of APC with respect to that election until the court ruled that... Um, nullify the case that was brought by the candidate by the aspirant that came second that in that election and if you follow um issues towards that particular campaign you see that um uh, that internal strife was there was. that internal conflict was there. It, it it's not to discount the fact that pdp never had its own conflict you know pdp had its own conflict too because there was a member of the adiriki family to that collected the form for the PDP ticket. There was a candidate of the PDP who also went to court. However, they were able to resolve their internal, internal crisis, and that, part, that candidate that came second in PDP election was even made to be the chairman of the campaign mm -hmm. team for the party. Mm -hmm. So the lessons to be learned from political parties are they need to resolve their internal crisis. In politics, <laughs> what you require is to win the election. Whatever it takes for you to win the election, to manage your internal problem, is very, very important and paramount. Okay, if, if you agree with that, um, then how easy is it indeed to go that way? Uh, it might be strategic, of course. It, is, it definitely is uh, properly strategic. Uh, but then we're talking about human beings here and uh, sometimes egos maybe uh, get in the way. After all, it is people that form a party. Uh, it's all about, uh, from what I'm hearing from both you gentlemen, it, it's all about nipping in the board early enough any problem that, um, if you could extrapolate it, you see that this could cost us plenty. Uh, so how, 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 how easy or difficult? After all, GD uh, has just pointed out that it's not as if PDP hasn't had its own internal conflicts. In fact, it cost them the entire election uh, that took them out of power. What would be your thoughts on this? Uh, so, sorry, like you said, I don't think uh, uh, um, any party really has an a, a homogeneous uh, um, affair before they go into election. But the two state one was very, very the the, the the divisions were too deep, and I'm surprised because Ashwaju is supposed to be a strategist, is a is a is a is a man that has a way of bringing everybody together when it counts. I'm surprised he didn't do enough work in Oshu State. Uh, with the Arabeshola faction and uh, the uh, current governor uh, there, it was just too much uh, discontent. When you will see uh, uh, some current party members actually doing videos cursing out the current um, uh, the current governor, so I thought uh, uh, it was a strategic blunder. Uh, maybe he just wanted to test something. With all due respect, we all know how powerful and how resourceful Ashwaju is, but I think it could have solved that problem. Uh, it was an ego thing from my own point of view. That okay, I can do it without you, F you, and then they went in there. And of course, those guys on ground, uh, the Arab Shalas and uh, his own uh, co travelers, they were determined that they were going to embarrass 
uh, the APC in that state. So you can see uh, them literally campaigning for the for the other party and collapsing their structure. So I think, uh, and it was not as if it was a surprise. Everybody knew that there was a disaffection between Aregbe and uh, the governor and uh, the uh, national uh, flag bearer and the APC generally. And a lot of people tried to put them together. So I was surprised that they could not bury their egos and then get uh, the election done. And I think everybody was trying to prove they have the power uh, in Oshun State. And at the end of the day, APC ends up losing a state they should have won very, very easily. So it's very important, obviously. And uh, I think it's a good, it may be a good thing uh, for APC, for them to see what can happen if they don't put their house in order. And also, we can't discount the fact that if internal fighting or no internal fighting, the people of Oshu State finally spoke. They were tired. They wanted Adeleke. Let's be frank. Adeleke is uh, extremely popular in that state. They wanted, even in the uh, Labour Party, uh, 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 the so-called obedient movement, a lot of the people that are supposed to be supporting Labour because they are supporting uh, uh, Peter Abiy, they actually went and supported Adeleke. I met one of our very strong uh, uh, um, uh, obedient guy, and he told me it's Adeleke is supporting. And I'm like, why? He said, well, uh, give me a lot of reasons. So we cannot discount also uh, uh, the popularity of Adeleke in Oshu State in winning that election. It's not just about APC internal problems. Uh, the man has been close uh, before. And this time, uh, uh, election buying was minimized. Uh, 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 election rigging was minimized. And um, I think the voice of the people finally spoke uh, uh, regardless. That's my own take on the matter based on reports mm -hmm. I was getting. My, from my state coordinator who, uh, who was briefing me every step of the way. So it's a combination of several things, but we have to give Ade uh, Adeleke his uh, flowers. Uh, the man worked hard and he danced very hard. You know, he's a great dancer. <laughs> Unfortunately, the other guys can't dance. 